Greetings friends. Welcome to Jeb Adams channel. Thank you for viewing and subscribing and I hope that you do return again. Enjoy the video. Here we are with both the motors again and first thing I'm going to do is get this black motor. I want to film taking apart the, the wiring and that will accomplish two things. We'll see how uh, in what bad condition the wiring is and I will also be able to you know see how it is how it is wired so that's what I'm going to start with now and that is the wire well that's the light we know that there's the motor here is the where the foot controller where the electrical controller fits in and this is the power cord coming from either the pedal or uh, a receptacle. So this is going to be simple to do because all I got to do is undo these things. Let's try this. Maybe I'll have more success with it. Yes, I am. Sweet. But look how grimy and dirty it is, so I'm going to be taking, uh, you know, the contact cleaner to that and that one as well. But at least I was able to, to get in there. And we'll be able to clean down there where the spindle goes. We can see the grime and dust and grit. I'm going to take this plastic bag and all I'm going to do is put that pulley with the screw in there and the screws already fallen out in there and now they're together and I won't lose it. So I'm going to go and get both of these sprayed with the electronic contact cleaner. So this is how I set it up in the kitchen. I get it clean and then I put down the, the towels here. And the next thing I'm going to do, I have the, the drain stopper and the drain. The next thing I'm going to do is put blue shop towels down there just like that the next thing I'm going to do is get a one of my white storage uh, plastic storage containers that I have parts in and pieces of sewing machines in and I turn it upside down and it gives me a good platform to work on and then I come in with my um, you know my my sieves and my strainers and all my other stuff that I need to uh, shower and uh, scrub the motors and then dry them and uh, and then if they need electronic uh, contact cleaner spray they'll get that too so that's how I set it up it's not a large kitchen everything I there's my tripod it just kind of stored out of the way for now it's not a, I don't have a large apartment but uh, I just want to share a little bit of this with you so that even if you have limited space you can still go ahead and uh, you know film uh, this is how I have it set up in my little kitchen here here's the motors and uh, some cleaning stuff there's the sink with a washing uh, container and some paper towels there's some strainers and brushes there's my tools I keep my tools in this this is the bottom of the portable case to the 414G and it's handy for all my tools I can just bring all you know most of the, these are not all my tools obviously but they're the day-to-day -day tools that I use fairly often and uh, it's handy just to be able to take this back to my little studio uh, workshop in the in the other room so that's how I've got it set up just wanted to to show you what's going on I like to have it so that 
I can turn off my lights with the flick of a switch. Right? So those two lights went off and there they went back on again. There. So, so I do set it up that way. Anyway, just wanted to uh, let you see how I, how I do it. What I have here is 100% crud cutter. And here I've got the motor for the tan colored 306K. And here I have the motor parts for Denny, the, the dark colored. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is wash these things and these things and that in the crud cutter and maybe let them soak for a couple of minutes and then get them cleaned up and then we'll get working on the rest of those things over there so uh, it's nice to be back in the kitchen studio for a change and it's nice to be doing motors again nice to be able to get these grubby motors uh, spick and span a little bit so without further ado let me get my little brush here and I'm just going to generously coat this with crud cutter. I'm not going to turn anything. I don't want to turn anything like if for the bearings or whatever. I just want to get this crud cutter on there and then let it, I can either let it soak in there, which I might do for a bit, and then this one is really dirty as well. It's the dirtier of the two. Poor Dennis the train wreck. It was living in a boat shed or someplace, garage or a boat shed or something, up in Rice Lake near uh, north of Coburg, Ontario. Gore, Gore Bay. Gore, is that what they call it? Gore Bay? On Rice Lake. So, it'll be nice to see how clean we can get it just with the first application which is the, the cred cutter and I'll let those sit for a bit I guess I could use the slightly larger container what have I got up here will these lie down in there no, they won't lie down in there either, but look at the gunk coming off there already. That's pretty nice. So, if that's the gunk coming off, then let me move my little wash tub out of the way. Get that. And I'll get my, my uh, strainer. I'll put these guys in there, or gals, they could be gals, I don't know. And I'm just going to wash them off with water. Oh, look at all the gunk coming off there. Isn't that nice? I guess I'll open it and let it, let it go. But the other thing that's really nice about this is knowing that, you know, it's not, it's not harming, it's organic. It's not harming anything. So now in this one, I just have dishwashing soap, dishwashing liquid. So it says H2O on soap, so it's going to have H2O on soap right now. I'll put those guys there. I'll get this brush. Now I'll really douse it in soap and water. Let me get you back over here so you can see what I'm doing. This is not the world's greatest. It's not supposed to be the world's greatest secret, even though I behave like it sometimes. But so that's that one. That's that one. And now what I'm going to do with them is I'm going to get a toothbrush and I'm going to get some of this 
and rinse that off so I can see what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to put the dishwashing liquid right on it and then get the toothbrush onto it. Now I'm being very gentle. I'm not using a whole lot of pressure at this point, you know. So it is somewhat gentle. We've used the degreaser to cut through the grease that was full of dirt. Then we rinsed it off. Then we rinsed it in soap and water. And now we're giving it a little a little scrub. The more that we can get done in this preliminary stage here, the better off we are. So let me rinse this baby off. It'll be interesting to see once the video is done because then we see the difference. It's, I can already tell the difference, especially down here. And even on the commutator. But that's that one. And where's this one? It's right there. So I've got to get some soap on it. And I'm quickly going to give it a scrub. And then I'm going to get the hair dryer so that these don't flash rust or anything. Because then, then it's a lot of work. So, wash that off. Nice. Let's, oopsie daisy. Good catch, good recovery. Let's look at this one. Let's compare them. So you can see that the one that came out of Denny is still, so it's, it's not quite as red as the copper over here. But anyway, let me get the hair dryer before these go crazy. Go crazy rusty. It's out on editing, so I'm not going to be too worried about you folks. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my oven mitt. Turn it on high and high. What I ended up doing was drying both of these for about five minutes. And I've got them pretty dry, I think, as far as I can feel and tell. So this was the dirtier one, it's still the dirtier one. And this was the cleaner one. Maybe this was the dirtier one. But anyway, I've got this electrical contact cleaner. So without further ado, I'm just going to give it a, uh, a shower and I'm going to douse it in electrical contact cleaner and then just set it in there to allow the electric contact cleaner to evaporate off the, the motor parts. So for... Uh There, I'm just going to let them set for five to ten minutes. So in the end I just got these two with the electrical contact cleaner. I never did these, the other half of these or the or the bottom bearings like that one there that you can see down there. And uh, this one's really interesting because it has like a bottom bearing thing on that side and also that side. So that's where we're at. Now, next time I'll uh, end up putting it back together, but it was great to go through the process and uh, get into the kitchen and uh, give it a good, give it a good rub-a-dub. And uh, thanks for viewing and subscribing, and I hope you, uh, you were able to use some of the information that, uh, that is on this little film. Ciao.